Hi guys, welcome to our channel. This is Home and Lifestyle by Team RSA. If it is your first time here, I want to thank you for dropping by. I just want to make this channel interactive, so feel free to write your comments and suggestions below. If you haven't subscribed yet, just don't forget to click that subscribe button and you can also like and share this video. So today we are here at Naga Boardwalk and um, we are here para magpahangin but aside from that I will show you around it's still the quarantine season so medyo hindi pa siya totally bukas balik to public but some areas are already open like some of the restaurants we can already eat so pwede na kayong magpahangin dito guys if you're just from the southern part of Cebu Kasi ano, hindi pa kasi pwede yung iba pumunta dito. By the way, I also want to thank to those people who have subscribed to our channel and who gave comments and you also gave some suggestions. Don't forget to click that notification bell para malala malaman mo if they, we have some new videos, uh, if we have some live stream. So at least makasali kayo, makajoin kayo sa aming community. So guys, I have a question. Are you smart? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> or bright? Baka matalino ka ba? Um, you know, that is a very interesting question because here in the Philippines, we normally associate being smart, being intelligent to mathematical. Kung, you know, kung, ma, kung, kung magaling ka sa math, magaling ka sa English, magaling ka sa science, iniisip talaga, yun na yung, ma, yun na yung ano, matalino. The truth is, everyone has different types of intelligences. And yun ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Ano ba yung mga different types of intelligence? So ako, iniisip ko rin minsan kung saan ba ako magaling. Magaling ba ako sa math? Parang medyo lang. Magaling ba ako sa English? Slight lang. Um, ano bang talent ko? Minsan iniisip ko lang ako talent. Ganun. Um, so as a parent, it's also very important for us to understand, you know, ano ba yung type of intelligence ng mga anak natin. Kaya ako naisipan ito ang mag, you know, to discuss multiple intelligences. Kasi one time my husband was reviewing my kids um, dun sa periodical exam nila. You know, suddenly I just asked him, do you know the eight types of intelligence? Sabi niya, hindi daw niya alam. So naisip ko naman, oh, not a lot of people actually know uh, multiple intelligences. And I think when you are a parent, you have to understand all those things. Para hindi naman natin masyadong pressure yung anak natin. Para maintindihan naman natin yung pinagdadaanan ng mga anak natin at some point. Um, normally, psychologists, educators, anyone who, who studies behavioral sciences know about the multiple intelligences. Pero yung husband ko kasi isa siyang engineer and I realized, you know, not everybody talks about it. So, yeah, if you don't know about it, this is the right time. Kasi I will talk about it in a general sense. Disclaimer lang, hindi naman ako masyadong magaling dun sa no, details. Um, I'm also trying to understand it, understand people based on their intelligence. May mga, may iba't ibang paraan ng pag-measure na intelligence. May, minsan yung iba, sinasabi, left brain ka ba, right brain ka ba, artistic ka ba, or logical ka ba, maraming mga ganun. So today, we will just focus on the uh, eight multiple intelligences as coined by Howard Gardner in 1983. First type of intelligence is linguistic or verbal intelligence. So, may mga tao na ang dali-daling nakakaintindi anything related to linguistics. Madali silang makalearn ng new language, madali silang makakompose ng mga poems, madali silang makasulat ng mga compositions, ang dami-dami na i-express nila kaagad into words yung mga gusto nilang sabihin. And usually naman, pag may linguistic at verbal intelligence yung tao, napapansin agad. Alam niyo yung if you're good in English, iniisip nila matalino na yan kasi good in English. Well, that's true. That's one type of intelligence only. That's called linguistic intelligence. So, isipin mo sarili mo, magaling ba ako sa language? Pag may, pag nag-learn ba ako ng Korea, ng Chinese, ng Spanish, madali ko bang makuha? Or nahihirapan ba ako sa grammar? Nahihirapan ba ako sa pag-learn ng different types of language? Siguro hindi ka ganun. Baka, let's go to the second type of intelligence. That's logical or mathematical intelligence. So, yung mga logical people, yun yung mga tao na uh, magaling sa math, mad, madali, magaling mag-calculate. Alam mo yun, yung mga tao na 
um, ang dali-daling makuha yung mga equation, ang dali nilang naintindihan kasi they have that logical intelligence. Minsan, tinatawag din yung reasoning smart kasi lahat dapat may explanation, lahat dapat may reason. Pag ganito namang type of intelligence, napapansin din agad kasi, kasi sa school, pagbagling ka sa math, diba? Ang talino mo na. So that's just one type of intelligence. Merong iba, they are linguistically good, magaling din sila sa mathematic and reasoning. So pag together yan, maganda, it's a good combination. So that's the second. Now let's go to the third type of intelligence, visual spatial intelligence. Yun yung mga tao na magaling sa directions, magaling mag-visualize yung mga plannings. Ano mo yung ang galing, naisip lang nila at they can, they can you know, sketch it nila. Magaling sila mag, mag-analyze ng spaces, magaling din sila mag-design. So depende na yun sa saan patungo. So if they're good in designing, ginagawa nila. Yun yung mga you know, tinatawag visual and spatial intelligence. Madali din silang matuto. If they can see visuals, siguro titingnan lang nilang isang bagay, alam na nila agad anong gagawin. Siguro titingnan lang nilang isang location, may design na kagad sila sa mind. So may mga ganong tao. Another type of intelligence is sinatawag natin bodily or kinesthetic intelligence. May classmate ka ba na, no? Magaling sumayaw, like tinitingnan lang nilang isang dance step or isang one whole dance tapos yun, na-follow na nila agad. Kasi ako, hindi ako ganyan. Medyo mahina ako sa bodily kinesthetic. Yung mga athletes, yung magaling sa certain type of sports na, alam niyo yung mga sikat sila sa sports na that they have, nagiging, because they're, they can easily function. Alam nila yung calculation ng movements, alam nila yung katawan nila, and that's called bodily kinesthetic intelligence. And it is a type of intelligence din. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng tao nakaka-follow ng dance steps. Hindi naman lahat ng tao magaling sa sports, naka, magaling sa kanilang katawan. When, they, when they, they can manage their body well, they can manage their movements well. So mga gymnasts, these are People, yun yung mga body smart tinatawag nila. So let's move on to the fourth type of intelligence. Meron din tayong tinatawag na musical or rhythmic intelligence. Guys, yung mga singer, yung mga tao na nakikinig sa music, tapos nafa-follow nila agad. That's a type of intelligence. Hindi lang siya. Kasi tayo minsan inisip natin, that's just a talent. Talent is a type of intelligence. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng tao born with that particular talent. It is true that we can study may mga paraan naman para ma-develop yung ating mga specific skills or talents pero may mga tao talaga, they're born with that already uh, alam niyo yung may mga napapanood tayo sa, sa TV na um, they they just listen they did not go into formal schooling or music school, they don't even know how to speak English, just they listen to a particular song, plus they're able to follow it could be a combination of both they have the rhythmic intelligence and they have the verbal intelligence kasi they can follow the sounds at the same time they can follow the words easily so yun minsan kasi an intelligence is a combination but okay another type of intelligence ay tinatawag nating um, interpersonal intelligence yun yung mga tao na magaling makipag-usap sa iba so magaling sa negotiation um, they can be speakers alam mo mga alam niyo yung mga tao na ilagay mo sa isang lugar and they can actually sell a particular item na parang wala sa lugar, bigla na lang they can sell it. Kasi magaling sila makipag-usap sa tao. And that is a type of intelligence. Hindi naman kasi lahat alam kung paano yung right timing to talk to people, kung paano mag- magbenta. So that's a type of intelligence. Ako hindi ako masyad, ewan ko, feeling ko hindi ako masyado magaling magbenta. Alam mo yung they can sell themselves. Hindi. Kaya nalang ibenta kasi they are in, interpersonally intelligent. Meron, ito din, nag apply din kasi sa mga managers minsan na magaling makipag-usap because there are people managers na, you know, they can convince people easily kahit galit na galit na yung tao. Pero pag kinakausap nila, you know, people can easily lighten up and, and, you know, and understand kasi they are good with uh, dealing with other people. And that's called interpersonal intelligence. So, another type of intelligence ay tinatawag na intrapersonal intelligence. Yun yung mga tao na magaling sa emotions. They understand human emotions, human brain, and they can, they can talk to you about it. Pwede nilang kausapin yung tao according to how they feel at kaya nilang um, at kaya din nilang uh, mag-adjust to different types of emotions. So, meron mga ganun. Those are psychologists. May mga tao na uh, magaling talaga sa intrapersonal intelligence. So, yun. So, aside from interpersonal, meron din intrapersonal intelligence. Another type of intelligence is tinatawag nating 
naturalist intelligence. Those are the people who are good with um, nature, plants, animals. Hindi naman lahat pwedeng maging plantito plantita sa totoo lang. Because, you know, may mga green thumb, may mga tao talaga na close to nature, na they thrive if they are with nature, and they can this actually can be good to people na mga zoologist, biologist, yung mga botanist, may mga ano pa ba, mga veterinarians kasi they can connect well with nature. Nature includes plants and animals. Ako, feeling ko hindi ako naturally naturalist. Hindi ko alam kasi kasi pag may ano ako may tinatanim ako mamamatay sila guys. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. But yeah, maybe I am not really that type of intelligence. So May mga ganun, may mga tao who can connect well with nature. That's a naturalist intelligence, okay? bago na na-add dun sa 8 list ni Howard Garner, ang tawag dun sa pang is existential intelligence. Yun yung mga tao na magaling sa life, sabi nila. They can think about the meaning of life, they can life, they can tackle questions about human existence and how we get there. Ito yung mga philosophers, scientists, yung mga tao na mag, mahilig mag-reflect uh, before kasi hindi siya nasali dun sa 8 pero lately kasi may mga tao na deep thinkers talaga so gina- tinatawag na existential so it's not yet part of that it's already part of the intelligences pero hindi siya or- part dun sa original na 8 tapos recently uh, just 2 or 3 years ago may additional intelligence na parang napag-usapan nila na pwedeng ma-add and that is called pedagogical intelligence yung teach smart yun yung mga tao na magaling magturo when they teach other people, other people easily understand it. And that's a type of intelligence kasi hindi naman siya automatically lahat magaling magturo. But that's just too additional na wala dun sa eight na sinasabi ko kanina. So how do we connect the different types of intelligence to our daily life? So iba, yung mga tao na nami-meet natin everyday, they have different types of intelligence. Hindi natin pwedeng i-judge yung isang tao na hindi na magtalino pag hindi nila kaya ang isang bagay because that person could be good with something else. Kailangan lang talaga ma-discover. Dito sa Pilipinas kasi, wala tayong masyadong focus on the different type of intelligence. So siguro kailangan din natin yun. No? For may mga school naman na nag-offer ng multiple intelligences. Pero hindi lang ako sure kung they have the complete facility to cater to the different types of intelligence. Kasi kailangan yan eh. Halimbawa dun sa mga tao na musically inclined, yung mga rhythmic intelligence, yung school ba na yun, meron bang capacity to uh, help those students para ma-improve yung intelligence nila kasi hindi namin natin alam pero maganda yun alam ko naman ngayon may mga schools na talaga na nag-offer ng multiple intelligences